Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at some really cool, interesting street art that is on another level. Before the video starts, remember to subscribe, and we are going to get right into the video. Okay, so this guy, I think, is drawing a bird. Yeah, that is a bird. Look how interesting that is. Like, that's got so many details. I love how he's just adding loads and loads and loads of layers. This is literally in some random abandoned building. I kind of want to learn how to draw like this, because I feel like it would be a really good hobby. Like, imagine just going to places and drawing. Like, it honestly would be so good. Like, look at how much detail he's adding on to that. He's actually making it look amazing. And think of how long it took him to do this as well. Like, honestly, I don't have the time to do that. Like, this probably took him days. Okay, so this is the finished product and look at it. Like, it actually looks so incredible. Okay, so we've got a guy painting over graffiti art. Oh, he's drawing his own things now. Okay, so H is, what does that mean? That's maybe his name. Oh, is he doing some type of like 3D art thing? I think it's called bubble art or something like that. Yeah, I think he's doing that. But look how cool that looks. I really want to learn how to do this but I'm so bad at painting and art. Like it actually just wouldn't work out. Like it would look atrociously bad. Okay so he's now adding black onto it. Whoa look at that. That looks like so luminatic. I don't know if that's a word. I think the word I was trying to say was like a lumic. I don't know if that's a word. I'm pretty sure that isn't a word. But like it looks so cool. Okay so this guy is in a warehouse by the looks of it and he's taping up a wall. Oh is he gonna do a thing where like he sprays paint at the wall and then pulls the tape away? If he is this is my favorite type of art to watch okay so as you can see he's literally taped everything up like he's done a lot oh i think they're starting to color it in with black yeah that's exactly what they're doing oh that's so cool look at that like i'm gonna pause it it looks like some type of random design do you ever look at an image and your eyes go like really weird like really wonky like that sort of makes your eyes go weird okay so this is in the middle of a street and i think this guy's gonna do some type of illusion where basically it looks like the ground is falling in or something like that. It could be something like that. We've got no idea. Okay, so I'm looking right there and I'm seeing he's actually got some type of an outline. So maybe he's going to draw somebody. He's now got loads of dices, I think. And yeah, he is starting to draw someone, as you can see. The brightness in the background has changed so much. Like, this must have taken him days. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, he's got like a guy sat in a dice and yeah, it looks like one of them really cool 3D ones. Okay, so we've got a guy painting in a black wall. Is this going to be like the first one where it's gonna be like really cool and like luminatic. I keep saying luminatic. I don't think that's actually a word. He's got loads of bright colors. We've got blue, yellow, orange, green. What's he gonna do? Oh, I think he's actually going over it like some type of design. Is that meant to be like an S or like a five? Okay, yeah, that looks cool. It's not as cool as the other ones, but I guess it is still cool. Okay, so this guy is rubbing an emu, I think that is. Is that an ostrich or an emu? It's one of them types of animals. But isn't it crazy to think that these guys literally have to draw out a sketch and then finally go over it. Like, I'm looking at this thinking, oh, I could do that in an hour when it could literally take me years. Well, not years, but, like, it takes you a long time. Okay, so as you can see, he's sketching out the emu. Okay, so this is an ostrich, and it says he's using chalk for this first ostrich. Oh, I think he's maybe gonna try and draw multiple ones. Okay, so it didn't actually show us the final design. I think it was just a chalk drawing. But as you can see right there, that ostrich looks really cool. Okay, so this looks like bottle paint, basically, where to get the outline line of a bottle and make art out of it. Oh gosh, this guy is making a really big design. I think that's a tiger or something like that. They use bottles as their brushes. Whoa, that must take them so long. If they mess up one time, the whole drawing is ruined. Like, look at that drawing right there. That is cool. Okay, so this guy is drawing a load of circles. Oh, is this more bubble writing? Yeah, it is. I used to always do this in primary school. Like, honestly, bubble writing or 3D writing is the funnest thing to do ever. So he's originally written it in black and he's went over it in red and he's now going over in blue. He created this amazing piece for the first sort of delay art festival. I think this is somewhere near or going to be put at an art festival. And yeah, as you can see, he has basically written Bond. I think it is B-O-N-D or something like that. I mean, it looks really cool. Okay, so I think this is dominoes or like pieces of brick. I mean, it looks really cool. Like, I kind of want to learn how to draw like this. I don't know why, but looking at 3D street art like this is so fascinating to me. Like, I just want to do it so badly. But I just don't have the talent. Like, I'm not good enough at drawing to be able to do this. If I am correct, I'm pretty sure they're going to make it into a heart. And as you can see right now, they did indeed do a heart. Okay, so this guy is spray painting a canvas. Oh, is he doing like stencils? I don't know if that's the right word to describe this. But I guess it is in a way stencils or like a thing that you like paint over and it has like, gaps and marks in it. I don't know what I'm saying. But look how cool this looks. Like this actually looks so detailed. I'm trying to guess what is that? Like is it a Star Wars helmet? I don't know if that's what it's meant to be. Yeah, I think it 
is, is that like a Darth Vader thing? I don't watch Star Wars who so don't have a go at me, but I'm pretty sure that is Darth Vader. But I mean, it looks really cool. Okay, so this guy has drawn Lisa Simpson around like a drain and looks like she's playing the saxophone. If you didn't know, in The Simpsons, she always plays the saxophone. But look how cool that is. Like, that's actually sick. And then this guy has got Homer Simpson flicking some type of a drain. I just want to know how long it took them to make this. I don't know if that's Homer or if that's another character. They've got a lock and it looks like a gun. Okay, so this guy is doing an art piece in the middle of a street or like an underground under a bridge somewhere. I wonder what they're making. It looks like a bath or it could be a bed. I don't know. Never mind. I think it is a bath. Look how cool that looks. Okay, so they got some type of a machine. What does the machine do? Is that just for him to like sit on? I think the whole point of this is for a 3D bath. Oh, so now we can see people actually sitting in it, which is cool. Okay, so we got some type of wire ball, but here it isn't moving, but it's moving here. And then if you see these people aren't showing. I'm so confused. Okay, so this guy is doing more bubble riding. Everyone seems to be doing bubble riding in this video. Like, what is up with people in bubble riding? But look how cool that looks. I really, really, really want to learn how to do this, but I just know I'd be awful at it. Okay, so he's now drawing some type of a girl. I wonder how to get into this. Did I just, like, watch videos like this online and then give it a go? Or were these the type of people in school to graffiti all over the toilet walls? I feel like they definitely were them type of people. I feel like they should definitely make, like, a big box or, like, a big building where people just do graffiti. I feel like a lot of people would explore there. This is a photo of more street art and as you can see this is a brain and a heart and these people are standing on it. Like it's actually crazy to think the people actually draw these with like pain. It takes so much talent to be able to do this. And then this girl is in some type of vending machine and now this person is on the toilet. Okay so this person has like a full on machine. What are they drawing? Are they drawing like a crocodile? Yeah I think it is a crocodile. Look how detailed that looks. Like this literally would have taken them days. This isn't something that's done overnight. They have to be so careful when they're drawing as well. This amazing piece is found in Gainesville, Florida. I mean, I want to go and see where that is because it looks amazing. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.